Hey, 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 hi, happy Friday. Hope you're having a good night. All right, so today I just wanted to come and yak at you about something. You know how like when you're watching a movie or you're reading a book again or I don't know, whatever, just repeating something again and it strikes you differently, like it affects you differently, you hear a piece of music and all of a sudden it re you relate to it in a different way. Um... That happened to me today in a discussion I had, and it was discussing about when um, a discussion a discussion about the, the the commonplace method to success of of uh, when preparedness meets opportunity. That's when the magic happens. Seriously, when preparedness meets opportunity, that's when you're taking this concrete step in the direction of your intended outcome. And um, it just hit me as I am right now. It is what January 2024, and look at what a, you know. Wow, compared to where I was last year, this is huge. And you know, and I have throughout the last year and throughout the last several years of um, living life, battling a cancer and re claiming my body from cancer, um, you know, I kept doing small steps, doing one small thing every day in a positive direction, hoping that it would get me closer to where I wanted to go. I didn't know exactly how I was going to get there, but I knew what I wanted to do. And today I just had this epiphany as I heard that, you know, when preparedness meets opportunity, that's when the big deal happens. And, you know, not that there's any big deal going on in my life, but the big deal is, is that I have more energy now. I have taken all this time in the last several years where I feel like I have, like, been able, not able to do anything at all. But I did a lot of things. I planted a lot of seeds. And now I'm starting to see those little seeds, like, poke their little green heads through the soil. And uh, I've spent a lot of time in preparedness. And now I'm in this state of hyper preparedness. So I'm preparing other things for the next step to come. That makes sense. And it feels good as I regain my energy. I just, I, I couldn't wait any longer for a lot of things. I just, I could not. Um, I could not wait any longer for, you know, resources that I wish that, you know, I would have been able to access when I needed them. You know, I had to figure out a way to live this life and move forward and be able to continue to create a self-sustaining lifestyle despite struggling with this darn cravies. Cravies is cancer. So, um... And I am very humbled today because just having that discussion and it make, pushes me even harder to make sure that I am taking those steps every single day to continue to propel me forward. And I'm feeling clear um, that chemo fog and brain has kind of been lifting from my head. So that feels good. Um, I feel that I'm gaining energy back. It's still hard, but I sleep differently. I eat differently. I do a lot of things very, very differently. Um, and one of the things mostly that I do differently is I quit shaming myself and belittling myself when I couldn't function like I once was able to. I'm differently able to function now and I function that way. Okay. So I have to accept that. And so that's also been a change in my life is accepting that instead of criticizing myself about it. And this has all helped me um, to continue to make forward steps. And even where I don't feel like I'm making huge leaps and bounds, that's okay. Because I'm taking little small steps in the direction of a, an intended outcome, a dream, a result, a rea you know, um, step towards stability. And I just have to do, uh, you know, keep doing you know, a, a, a focused activity every single day to keep me in that direction and stay on task. And I'm like, wow. Wow, peeps. So I'm really hoping that preparedness is uh, going to meet some opportunity 
and it kind of already has. It's starting to work. I'm seeing it in the universe. Um, and that that's when that magic happens. And I'm hoping so. I like this place in my life. It's amazing how long it has taken to arrive here. And I'm still continuing to heal and deal. Um, and yeah, cancer was a big deal to me. It shook me up in a paper bag. Like shake and bake my life. But I feel that I am Coming back, baby. Soaring in 2024. Soaring 2024, that's right. And I really want to be, make sure I'm as prepared as can be. And I have been working on it. I've been planning. And it has taken so much time. And finally, I'm starting to see stuff happen. And I'm able to devote more time and focus and have greater clarity. Um... I follow several um, other creators here on Facebook that work with um, getting rid of things like chemo fog, chemo brain, discussing it. Um, they talk about gaining your body back, um, your physical health, uh, dealing with the physical effects, the physical symptoms of medications, long lasting treatment effects and still being able to propel and move forward in life. And that has affected me greatly. And that's why I like to share my story because I, um, I take those little small steps. And as I look back and I see where I was, you know, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, it's really amazing. And I've really learned patience and doing those one small steps every day because I didn't even realize it, but out of, my need to create and do something um, and find a way to, I, 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 and, and feeling like I wasn't getting the results that I just, I wasn't, I was, but I don't think I could have handled really great results either. Like if things would have exploded, I don't know. I would have figured out a way. Anyway, point being, I planted a lot of seeds, spent a lot of time preparing, and now. I have the energy to continue to move forward and really devote myself to these startup projects and other activities that I built a foundation with. So it feels good. Uh, so it really hit me differently. That saying when preparedness meets opportunity, that's where it happens. And it's true. And I really want to be prepared because I really, really want that opportunity because damn it, I deserve it. <laughs> Peace out.